Tell us more about your investment criteria for the investments you make on the Section 12J side. We have strict investment criteria that we put through an investment committee process and, and that adhere to both the 12J legislative uh, requirements as well as the return requirements and the fund structures that we offer investors in the 12J structures. For us it's key that we have a strong partner, a partner who can operate those businesses and can really take it forward because we're not going to operate those businesses. Our main role is to obviously bring financing and then to add value. We've got a team of professionals in the group, both on the infrastructure and on the agri-business agri side, which can add value to those businesses wherever it's needed. So it's key to have a strong partner whom we can partner with and they must have a partnership mentality. And in that vein, we, are, we invest in mission-critical real assets. Um, as Renier has explained previously, we focus on agriculture and infrastructure and we provide growth capital and expansion capital. It's not venture capital or, or angel investing that we do in our 12J funds. For us, the exit is critical, as, as it is in all private equity. If we don't know exactly what we're going to do with a business, after five to seven years when we want to exit the business, we won't continue the transaction. So the exit is baked into the transaction. And in that way, we are basically reducing the risk for our investors. Um, we target a 12 to 15% predictable and as predictable as possible return on the investments we make. Environmental, social and governance aspects are key elements of the investments that we analyse. It is important that the investments and the businesses create jobs and contribute to the entrepreneurial and economic growth mandate that these businesses have and that can deliver to the wider economy.